This looks good. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> he didn't age at all. <laughs> I didn't really want to tell you at that time, but I was like, oh, man, you're going to be in trouble. Yeah, that's what we all say. <laughs> hey, brother, it's been 30 years, man. Let's get a toast. Yeah, let's raise a glass, man. And to the, the ones that aren't here, that's, um, may they rest in peace and God bless. Rest in peace. peace. There'll never be another UFC one. Yes. There you go. Cheers. 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 Tonight, the big storm on everyone's mind is taking place indoors at the McNichols Sports Arena, the site of tonight's landmark martial arts event. Eight of the deadliest fighters in the world will meet in a no-holds-barred combat to determine who is the ultimate fighting champion. Be forewarned, there are no rules, no judges' scores, and no time limits. Can't believe it, man, 30 years ago, you know, and we signed up for it. Yeah. yeah. They say I, you were the first one to sign. I say I was the first one to sign. That was my brother organizing the show. But when I don't sign, you have no opponent. <laughs> exactly. I'm the first one. My <laughs> brother was the one yeah, signing up you know, the he, whole he, thing. He, I think I was I the first one. Uh, the visionary. You may be the first outside the film. <laughs> you, 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 you arrange everything, and I was the first who signed. Yes. I heard, I heard that they make a, a tournament for all the fighters, because everybody is good. The boxing said, I win from this. The karate guy said, no, I'm the best. And then they make a whole group and they say, okay, we need everybody there. I go. It's ready to fight. <laughs> We're ready to fight and we go. I and think, that's it. I think back then there was no like, I gotta get ready. You always like, said, talking, yeah, yeah. I'm ready. Let's yeah. go. Let's do, we gotta fight tomorrow. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, you gotta fight this guy. Doesn't yeah. matter. It's What's like, that mean? guy don't care. I think we're all like that yeah. back then. Yeah. yeah, how I got involved was uh, I had a, a dojo in, in Lodi, California. I had all the Lions Den fighters there, and I was competing over in, in Japan at the time. Uh, in fact, is, uh, you were over there around the same time as I was competing, uh, doing K-1. So I knew who you were. And um, so one of my students had uh, found a flyer that had this, uh, this no-holes-barred challenge, and And he brings it to me and he tells me, hey, they got this no holds barred thing, man. It's anything goes. And I kind of chuckled, right? Because what I knew of no holds barred, anything goes, was like Hulk Hogan, pro wrestling, get hit with the chair, <laughs> anything goes. And I was like, dude, that's pro wrestling. And he goes, no, 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 man. This is a real deal, man. This is like anything goes. And I was like, oh, man. So I remember looking at it. So I'll take a look at it. And I remember calling um, R. Davies. I remember saying to him, so you can kick them when they're on the ground? No pun intended. But I said, so you can just kick them on the ground when they're on the ground? And he said, yep. And I was like, seriously? He goes, yeah. And I said, all right. Um, I, I want to do it. Let me, I want to try it out. And he said, yes, you're exactly what we're looking for. And I said, all right, sign me up. How I got into UFC 1 goes back a year before UFC 1. Huh? And uh, I was fighting in the International Karate Championships in Long Beach, California. Now, that's where Bruce Lee, Chuck Norris, if you see the movies, that's the tournament that everybody fights in. Those days, the tournament was a little bit more like full contact. You know, it's tournament karate. You were still getting, you can still hit hard. You couldn't knock somebody out, but there was a lot of fighting going. You could sweep, take down, and we're fighting on cement. Frank Dukes, me and Frank Dukes getting this whole, the whole story of blood sport. And we had a real Cobra Kai dojo war going on, his dojo versus my dojo. So I go to the Draka Championships where I'm supposed to fight. And I'm fighting for a world title. Draka's the equivalent of the Russian version of shoot boxing. So long story short, Frank Dukes and I get into it. Bing, 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 pop. Body slam this guy on top of it. <laughs> bing, 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 bing. And uh, next thing I hear is click, 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 click. LAPD got guns on me and they put me in handcuffs. So this guy, Art Davey, comes up with Hoist. And Hoist is mad dogging, man. I, I look at Hoist. <laughs> Hoist is looking at me like, he looking at me like, looking at what they call looking short. He's looking at me like, so Art Davey oh, comes. sizing up. you up. Yeah, okay. Oh, I saw you. I, I caught that look. I caught that look. That's like, you know, I said, okay. And then Art Davey says, you're saying for you? Yeah. And he goes, I'm Art Davey from UFC. I seen you fight. You're in the UFC. So that's how I got in. <laughs> With that fight with Frank Dukes, I'm looking at Hoist, and Hoist looking at me going, I said, okay, all right, I see. And I said, oh, okay, that's how I got in there. No, I really thought I was going to win, and that's what attracted me to the event was the no-holds-barred. It really gave me a feeling like that was going to be the, the real toughest guy in the world. Because we all had the heavyweight boxing champion. Everybody said they're the baddest guy on the earth. 
but this sounded like we're going to see the real yeah. tough guy in the world. <laughs> yeah. Uh, had a 15 fight win streak, had off in three years, and uh, about to fight Tommy Hearn for a world title fight. And um, going into the fight, a good friend of mine, Ernest Hart, he's the ex karate champion, he had introduced me to the fight and asked me about fighting this tournament called the UFC. That's the, um, I thought I was fighting Hoist, right? Remember, back in 1993, wasn't no Google, wasn't no Yahoo, wasn't no, nowhere I could go look up on Hoist, right? right? So he said the name Hoist, what a Hoist. Rolls Royce, you know what I'm saying? Everything was up. Rolls Royce, like what everybody talks yeah, about. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I had no idea what I was getting into, right? So um, again, being on a 55 win streak, no, you know, no loss in three years, I was ready to go, man. So I was like, yeah, let's do it, right? So um, talked to Art Davies. They offered me, you know, a certain amount of money, and um, then he's fighting the smallest guy in the tournament, right? He can't punch. No, he has no power. Yeah. Hey, and hey, we no, can't. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has no power. No. He can't play. Right? They ain't telling me the <laughs> jiu-jitsu, right? Right. They, they, tell, they tell me the other side, right? They ain't lying. <laughs> the other side of the coin. So I said, okay, right. So when I see Hoist, I say, yeah, I mean, come on. I'm like a thumb to, 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 uh, to, to a pinky, right? So I see Hoist, and Hoist is so quiet, so smooth, right? Yeah. And you, you intimidated me too because you never said anything. You came in like you were like a, like a, a soldier, right? And then I heard... Taylor was uh, like eating, uh, eating like five plates of pancakes a day. I was like, man, this guy is getting up. Man, Ken had his reputation. Everybody had their own reputation, right? So I'm thinking to myself, okay, but I'm fighting you. So I'm, so I'm, so I'm thinking to myself, you know, so I thought, you were lucky. You, yeah. fought the, you fought the nicest one. Right. 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 That's, 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 that's true. That's true. I think they picked me because I was the nicest one. Yes. You were the yes. smallest one. No, yes. not, yeah. the, not because of size, yes. because those smaller cousins, smaller brothers, those bigger, those different sides, but I think out of my brothers, my cousins, they all had fights before, and I don't think they would have listened to my father's orders at the time. My father's order was like, do not hurt your opponents. Do not hit them. Just win with using jiu-jitsu, that's it. Right. Don't, yes, don't beat them up. I, some of the other brothers and cousins, they already fought before and they might lose yeah. control and just smashing somebody's face and cutting them up, the opponent up, they get mad. So, by the way, it was totally different orders from my mother. Yeah. I show what did you my do? Mom, my yeah. mom was like, your father is old. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I want you to hurt them. I want to see blood. Mom was the mean one. <laughs> I was like, what, mom? What was the lady? That doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> but yeah, that's how they kind of pick me. I think it was announced to everybody together that there was going to be a, 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 a meeting for the rules, that there was no, no rules. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember there was some kind of commotion. Yeah. People want to wear pads, I mean, uh, the, the, yeah. the hand wraps, the hand wraps yeah. and shoes, and yeah. it's like, uh, yeah. who got up and it's like, right. yeah. 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 Still, no, 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 Taylor, 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 no, Taylor got yeah. up yeah. after yeah. me yeah. because what happened was, we had chaperones. Oh, you guys had all chaperones man. to go with us to watch the straight. There's no rules. And right. 100%. Right. Some, but everybody starts to wait. But can I do this? Can I do that? Can I? It's like, dude, just do no, it. No, no, but no. Like, we were but, told but, we could. It just felt like we didn't have a position to really go up and actually ask why they were taking away shoes and wraps, things of that nature, because it would have painted us in a, in a light of not wanting to fight or that we wouldn't have gotten a chance to fight. They would have just cut us and put somebody else in it. Here's what happened though. When I took athletic tape and I put it in water and I put it on my heater in the room and I let it dry and I had 12 rolls of tape and I take six rolls and I was making a cast. That's not helping our case. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> no, but hang on, but hang on. Just wrap so, your hands, brother. No, 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 no. So, that, so, so, so that's what it was. So it wasn't the wraps, it was the tape. And they saw that and the next thing I know, Come back to the rules meeting, Jorge and Gracie takes out the two rules, no groin shot and no hand wraps. I said, wait a minute, how come we can't have any? He said, he said and there wasn't no hand wraps. No, no, no. No, no, no. He said, you can't wrap right, the your knuckles. knuckles. Exactly. And then so Jorge and I got, and I got into it. I said, hey, man, you changed the rules before the night. He goes, he said to me, he goes, Zane, well, you, we can tell everybody you chicken shits and you didn't want to fight because you want to pull out because of the rule. I said, hey, man, listen, that's not how we fight. I, I was on the front row almost. So I didn't see all you guys in the back. So I didn't know who was arguing with, uh, you know, his brother, Warren. And so well, I remember everybody arguing, you know, it just got really 
intense. I mean, I wanted to fight right there. <laughs> you know, I was at the meeting with my brother, and he looked at me. He said, what do you want to do? I said, man, I want to fight. And he said, sign the effing paper. So I signed it, and we stood up and walked out because my brother, he's a street fighter like me. He wanted to get in a fight right there, too. Because, you know, tensions, and, and mind you, we were all disgruntled kids growing up, you know, from a disgruntled family. But when we were walking out, Horan looked at us, and he was mad. And, you know, he thought I was quitting. And he said, hey, Tori, where you going? And I looked at him and said, going back to the room, he said, what about the contract? I said, I signed it. He said, well, already. And then he said, look at this guy. He said, and I just heard the whole room go quiet. So he put me on the spot. So all I had to say was, hey, man, I came here to party. If any of you come here to party, I'll see you in the arena tomorrow. And I went back to my room. <laughs> yeah, I was here. I never really believed that it was going to happen. I mean, like, because if you remember, this is back in 1993. We had sanctioning, we had regulations. So to really hear what they were saying was like, you could punch them on the ground, you take them out, you can knee them, you can kick them, you can headbutt them. Like, I was like, wow, this is the best thing in the world. It just didn't seem like reality in 1993. And so my doubts were always like, okay, let's see where it goes. So we do the weigh-ins, and I remember I'm saying to Hoist, with this, I, I didn't know who Hoist was and didn't really believe he was fighting until I saw him wearing his gi, and I was like, <laughs> what's that guy wearing his pajamas <laughs> for? <laughs> like, it's like, what is he doing? And uh, it's, it's, I don't know, was it 48 hours later, I was looking up going, man, those jammies work pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> sure do. <laughs> I can't believe this guy told me I was his first fight. It's like, he, he's never had a fight before, so it just amazed me how much talent. But that, it's not fighting. That's all right. right. boy. I was, was shocked. Like shock. a, a beautiful sport. Yeah, I was shocked about that. I mean, when I said, all right, I'll use my first fight. I said, you never had, like, had a real, real fight. And no, I said, I've had That's over 30 called 25 years of training. That's yeah, it. Was, yeah. I've, I've had over yeah. 30 some 25 fights. years yeah. of ground training. Yeah. You didn't have any ground training. Right. What Hoyan did when he brought this in and that concept was give everybody an opportunity to be able to compete in this kind of sport. It was a chance for me to showcase what we were doing in Japan, but also at the same time showcase what I had learned over the last year and a half to two years to get in there and showcase what I've done because I did capture the championship over in Japan. I had an opportunity to come here and camp capture another championship. And so coming in here, I really felt like I had the edge on everyone because same reason why Hoist, when he went in there was confident, was because I knew I knew the ground and I knew the concept of knowing the ground. It was like that nobody could stop me because if they were all strikers or in, in, a, in a karate case wearing a gi, thinking that you were a karate guy, you know, that nobody had a chance because I'd just take them down and submit them. But, and, I, think, uh, but I think everybody had that yeah, idea attitude. like, hey, attitude. I'm a boxer. Yes. I can knock everybody yes, out. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And I think, you know, martial arts, it's all about fundamentals. No matter what martial arts you learn, you learn it and then you always make it your own. Yeah. Yeah. And then you always think that you have the edge yeah. in your mind, your own, because you believe in yourself. So I thought the same thing as all you guys thought is, when I get there, I'm going to show everybody, you know, what, who's the toughest guy in the world. I just thought I was going to crush everybody. Yeah. I went there with the wrong attitude thinking. It's not wrong. You no, that wasn't out. the wrong attitude. Yeah. That wasn't wrong. That was the right attitude. That was the right attitude. Yeah. See, you got to understand that what we had have done, and you got to remember, there's a lot of guys that said no. Yes. There's a lot of guys yes, that said yes, no. Yes, yes, yes. I would go to Art David. I said, Art David, is this for real? And he'd go, what about the Japanese karate? So you, why do we, where's Kung Fu, man? Where's Shaolin? You know, where's the Shaolin <laughs> yeah. master? Where's the, where's, the, where's the guys from Taekwondo? Where's all these guys, right? And he said, here's a list. We sent letters out to all of these top martial arts organizations. They all declined, declined. They didn't want, he goes, look, this guy come back. Everybody said no. So when you look at boxing guys, the only guy that might have said yes outside of you that might have said yes because I wanted him first 
was Mike Tyson. He, Mike Tyson was, was, was he, could, he was unavailable because he was- I heard he say yes, but the people around him said no. 100%, okay, that's what that's it was. That's what I heard. Yeah, okay. Because that was the only guy who said, I want that guy, man. Because that, because that would have been able to say, okay, now we got all the real tough guys here. A lot of guys in wrestling said no. But you think you, you, you want to show your, your uh, thing? You want to show your shoot? style? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. So the thing of it is, is that- Not me. No, no. I was really going there for uh, that. I want to see who is better than me, with whatever. Right. I find out this is you. You were the first fight of that the night. Third, yeah. I yeah. was the first yeah, fighter, the first UFC, and the first knockout. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guy. <laughs> Almost you guys, knockout. You guys were the first fight of yeah, the night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, I prepare what I do always. Prepare warming well, up. Well, thanks to Close. you. Yes. You see how bloody the sport is. <laughs> My blood is the first blood in the octagon. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it was a pleasure. I know it was your pleasure. <laughs> But you, you broke your hand too. Yeah, I broke yeah. my hand. Yeah. And uh, when I hit a hard head like that. <laughs> yes. Uh, because I make an analyze after that when I see the tapes. Normally I make uh, Tamishiwara, this breaking boards. We can make one straight punch. But I want to, that he don't go up. So I make too quick a punch to the head and you can see it on the tape when I punch him I I thought his eyebrow was on my hand that is I something happened here and it was broken and uh, then I after that I go, go see the doctor so so you're in a fight in hoist with, with a broken tooth in your foot yeah wow and a, and a broken hand wow and there was one doctor there but it was also a family I think <laughs> and, uh, and they say yeah oh, he broke his hand and his feet because they come to the to the chamber room and there's a change room. Yeah, what you have? I said, I have nothing. Yeah, but uh, you cannot fight like this. I said, no. I don't go 10 hours in the plane for one, one fight. <laughs> you have to fight, right? I have to fight. It doesn't matter who it is. I think on that moment I see everybody, everybody was a sportsman. Right, right. The only was not a sportsman was me because I bite, I kick, I do everything. <laughs> I know. I know. I, I mean, remember. I, I know that I do it because I'm, I'm a, I learn sports, but I don't. I like I hate losing. Yeah. And you well, do. Well, nobody likes to lose. Right. But you take you you ta you take it because you think too much. He think too much. He's a really sportsman, and he's a sportsman. And he, his mother said, kill him, but he listened to, lucky to his father. <laughs> That's the reason he said, hey, don't, don't hurt, hurt him. And okay, because I bite you, I say dirty words in your ear. <laughs> I know it, because, but I do, because I want to win. Yep. It doesn't matter how. The first match will be Gerard Jardot against Tali Tule. There. Gerard just got him with a real good roundhouse kick to the face. Yeah, I think it's possible he may have a cut under his eye. Yes. They might be calling in the cut man now to take a look at it. I'm yeah, they're sure. calling the cut man. Tooth came out. Yes. Kathy, did you catch that tooth? I, no, I think it's under the table here. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to find it later and I get it done. Well, hey, you got to be tough to take that. Yeah. <laughs> and you got to remember something. You didn't tap out. That referee shouldn't stop that fight. Yeah. So you could have kept going on that. That's the whole thing. That's a well, tough thing, yeah. Now when I look back, it's a blessing he did. <laughs> you are tough. You are tough. It doesn't matter what you do. You yeah, are but, there. But I went home with one less tooth. <laughs> it's for free. <laughs> And I dreamed about being the toughest guy in the world. Oh, you are? You know, from, from was, a baby. You, you are there. Well, thanks to you, you know, I... I wondered about that. <laughs> Now, did you want to continue the fight? Or yes, you the I think so, yes. Yeah, so, I wanted yeah. to. Yeah. I thought you, you I, I can't remember, I think you wiped the blood off and you're like, let's go, don't stop. Yeah. But I was already stop. When they, yeah, when they, I know stop. for myself, when they say, after five minutes, the doctor C and, and his brothers and everybody say, okay, continue, I don't fight anymore. Because there were no rules. And I put a referee on the side because I want to continue. Because he lay down, he cannot never go up. Yeah. And that's when they put me away, then I say, if they, if it's, it's over, when it's not over, I don't fight anymore. Because 
don't give him the time to recover. To recover, yes. Yeah. Was in my mind. And uh, as I don't, I don't happened, okay, because everybody was in shock, also the referee. He don't know what to have to do there. He was in shock. Wow, learning. Yes, everybody was. Uh, total that, learning process, the first one. Yes. Uh, for everybody. The match has been called. Gerard Jarjo is the winner. After I got the call to, from Horion and agreed to fight in UFC 1, I was fighting in another karate tournament and I had a, I was training, overtraining, because I remember feeling very weak and I caught pneumonia. Walking, and so I went into respiratory failure and I don't remember anything. And I was in the hospital for 21 days. Wow. So when I came out, I'm thinking I'm pretty good and I go to a cardiologist, he says, you only have 30% of your, you, you lost 30% of your lung capacity, and it's gonna take you about a year and a half to get that back. But I didn't tell that to anyone. So I knew that I only had a short period of time to train. And I knew that I had a short period of time that if I was going to win, I was going to have to go ahead and win quickly. That's why I had to speed up to space. Get you, yeah. That's why my strategy was, okay, get it over with quick, bleed them up, cut them up, da da when I started, when I was winning, I was busting them up. I felt good about it. I was excited about it. I started to labor a lot more than I wanted to with him because he was just heavy. And there was a couple of times that he need me or tried to need me. And I was going to single leg and take him to the ground. I said, oh man, this guy's too big, man. So I started to, I just started, I would just stand here and bang with him, just to bang and just put him out. Bang, 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 bang. Hitting him with uppercuts. And, now, when I threw a right hand, I, I hit it, and I felt it. I've, I've heard his jaw crack. I heard it crack, and I cracked. Boom, I hit him with left hook and cracked. And then so I started kneeing him, and, out, and then there's a big dude, man. And then people don't realize that's another factor in a, in a no holes barred fight is weight. You got to jujitsu, there it is. That's what, that's what that's designed for because it gives you a balance. The whole idea behind a bigger person and a smaller person, jujitsu becomes the equalizer, right? Because now you have a way of tactically being able to fight a bigger opponent. So, try to take Kevin's back. Kevin's too big, he's all greased up, couldn't take his back, beating, beating him down, beating him, beating him, and I'm just hammering him. And all of a sudden, I just, I feel my, my lung capacity lower, 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 because I was, we was going at it, right? Because I knew I had to get over quick. I need him one more time as we got up. And I started back up, and all of a sudden, I started to say, okay, let me just breathe. So by the time, I, could, I finally were trying to catch my breath. I said, if I can get him one. Now I'm thinking boxing. Let me back him to the fence. I saw that. I was thinking back, put, bring him to the I fence, right? It. I saw it. And I, I was waiting. Come on, this way. Right. But by the time I was this, Literally. I took one breath, and I just collapsed. There was nothing left in me. I just felt, I was just, I was just there, man. I just, and I said, uh, just, and I was thinking, I said, it can't be much, much of a tonga. I'll, I'll get to the second round. I'll get my win. But there were no rounds, rounds back then. I know, that's the whole thing. Well, no, and I was thinking, I was thinking, was thinking no, no, I think it was, was, was five minute rounds. There was no rounds. No, there was no rounds. Was there, was no no rounds. Rounds. No there was no rounds. No rounds. You're doing too much, you see? See, okay, I thought it was five minute rounds or something. I thought it was five minute rounds or something. No, 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 no. First ultimate was for real men. Wow. Real men. Yeah. Patrick Smith said that, Especially when I see it in the big screen as I'm standing in the, the octagon, he says, I feel no pain. And I just kept thinking in my head, oh, you will in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> so I was pretty hyped standing and jumping around. And as he was coming in there, I'm just dogging him. I just want, to, I just want the thing to start ringing the bell. So then the bell rings. I remember shooting across there. And this was the first time where I realized <laughs> that the shoes were a little more important than I thought. <laughs> because I, told you. I remember when I saw it in, I couldn't pick him up and I couldn't lift him. And I was like, literally had to spin him around to take him down and trip him down in order to get him down. It wasn't like I could just shoot in and lift him up because my feet were slipping. So when he went to the ground, I'm landing down there and I got he pulled guard. And so I remember thinking to myself, this guy's a striker. Like, where do you learn guard from? So I was a little bit cautious of like, maybe he knew a little bit more. But I remember splitting the leg, sitting back, sitting in for the heel hook. And when I was going for the heel, I realized he didn't know what he was doing with the leg locks. So when I sunk in the heel hook and I remember turning it, he, uh, he screamed <laughs> and he tapped. And uh, when we jumped up, I remember just, I was so intense, like um, wanted to go for some more and uh, they stopped it. Because of the type of fights and what we had already seen up to that point, 
the adrenaline level was through the roof. I mean, yeah, like, yeah, it was intense. Yeah. I mean, so when I was crazy. in there, man, it was like, this was like Christmas, I mean, every single day, like, man, this is awesome, man. We can just do whatever we want. <laughs> when I came out and I saw Art with one glove, I actually was like, okay, there's good and there's bad. Good is he cannot grab me with that hand. But bad is he's confident enough to hit me with that glove to knock me out. So I was like, I cannot get a hit from him. <laughs> that was the main idea. So I kind of, that's why I, I paced myself a lot. I was like, okay, I'm going to stay away for a while, see if he's coming at me. But I think the difference is you guys, I believe, all came in to win your fight. I came in not to lose the fights. My father always said, don't, come, don't try to beat them. Don't lose to them. They will lose. They will make the mistake. And I circle around, circle around, and I saw the moment, okay, he's not committing himself, so I'm going to shoot him. That's when I shot, took him down, and just as soon as I smothered him and threw a couple head buzz, and he's like, okay, that's it. You went, yeah, no more striking. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> what I did do, I did do when I come out, I did, I did do a couple of feints on you. I, feel, I wanted to see, in boxing, like I said, we call it a feint, where I come out, I just, just try to get a feint to see what you want to react. You never reacted. I came out trying to tell I was trying to pull you in to do something so I can counter, but you never reacted. You know, and I knew that even when, uh, when I first met you, uh, we first all got together. Um, the way he had, like, he, had like, he had like a poker face. You never showed any kind of sign of weakness. All like, dang. So finally, we got in the ring. Like I said, uh, I was trying to get some out of you, but you never showed it to me. You just never showed me. No, was cool. I don't feel like that. I went and fought Kevin. I know my hand was broken. I was a little feeling on my feet, but I have an other hand. And I know he's uh, from the United States and they're not so good with low kicks. And then give him the opportunity to, that he can walk to me, and then I can stop him and block him with the, with the shin. And then he stays still, and then I can continue the, my, my, my plan. But first, he has to stand still because you tell me he's a big dude. And when you, yeah. give, him the, and you give him the, the, the feeling that he can come, you can let him come. And then I see on, on, on the movement of the feet that he step in the wrong way. He step in the front way on, on the heel, and then you can kick it very hard on the low kick. And I gave him two, then he stands still, and he have to think what happened. I can't remember, did you kick him with the broken foot or the... With the shin. With the with shin. The, shin. But the, the one that was broken. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. But uh, because I have space enough to that I not can uh, go with my foot. My shin is very hard. That I can kick him very hard with the shin. And then the reason, he have to think, because he's not used to it, to, to the, the, the kicks to the legs. And then he have to stand still. He have to think. Before he can think, I can punch him. But did you punch him with a broken hand yeah, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you didn't even care? I don't care. <laughs> That's the reason you tell me that, uh, that I want to win. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Broken again, again. You have to... I have to knock you out to, to prove for myself that I don't so with me. So no pain at all? No, I, that time, I, 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 I feel it because oh, you, feel it? Uh, you feel it because you can see that I start over after two punches with the elbow because I feel my hand, of course. That's the reason I, I go with the elbow. I saw it too. And then yeah. and then he go down. But he, I let him. My strategy was let him think. Mm -hmm. And when you think, you're too late. You have to be like a lion. You have to be nature. Yeah. Don't yeah. think. There it is, boy. See. Lion. <laughs> <laughs> or tiger. Whatever. <laughs> when the towel goes in, the fight in. is over. The fight is over. I wouldn't be surprised if those rooms were broken there. It's a pretty good stop. Yeah, well, I, I, could, I, right to the rim. I could feel the concussion all the way from here. When we fought, yes. what did, when you look across the ring, the cage, what did you see? What I, did saw, you... I saw an opponent that I was going to beat. Sure, this is very yeah. Now that I was gonna go in, I was gonna go up there and attack him. Had no other than really seeing, and I didn't get to pay attention to that fight, but I heard that you had headbutted him or did something, he tapped out from, from strikes. And so for me, when I went into fight, I had no understanding other than the rumors and stuff. But as far as I was concerned, I was a good grappler. There's no way you, you were gonna be able to compete with me in grappling. 
And so and when you I did went, went for my foot. I did. I shot in on you first. You shot yeah. in for the yeah, foot. Yeah, you yes. shot in. I grabbed you, hooked you, underhooked you, and I rolled you. And then as I rolled you, you rolled through. What I changed on that fight, because I thought you were watching our fight. So the fight with him, I stayed away for a while. Yeah, you came in Then right my away. father came over and said, walk straight right. through him. Don't ever stop. Yeah. Just go shoot right in. Go engage on the yeah. grappling. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I never stopped. I came in straight in. Yeah. And you went for my foot. <laughs> well, actually, I, uh, if you remember right, when you shot in, I double underhooked you and yep. I stuffed you. And then I rolled you and I actually was going to come over the top and you just kept rolling through. And as we were rolling through, we started rolling all the way through. And the next thing I know, when I, I was into all guard, sides, I to pull guard. You, no, you actually came into the side control and you wrapped the gi around my neck. And you were choking me with the gi. And I was thinking to myself, no problem. I'll reach up and pull his arm off. <laughs> I reached up to go to pull the arm off. There was no arm there. It was an actual rope no, around my neck. Before you went, you went to my foot. When you went to my foot, that's when I defended the foot. Yeah, I got yeah. I went on top of you. Yeah. On the side. Yeah, I, we was the side. Then you were like on your you knees were... and I got on the side. Yeah, but it wasn't the gi. It was my arms that was around your neck. I remember reaching up was... and trying to grab and there was this this material around my neck. That was, that was my sleeve. sleeve. That was the sleeve. sleeve. The sleeve? No, that was that a sleeve. Was, that's what it was. But, he yeah. somebody, but the way he put the choke no. in there. It was this the naked, choke. Naked yeah. choke. Really naked, naked choke. Naked, yeah, the choke. It was the choke I, that I, I got it. Was it wasn't a sleeve choke? No, 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 no. no. It was a naked, naked, naked choke. Naked I know it's not a naked choke, but I thought he's quick. I thought it was a sleeve, because I remember reaching up, feeling the material. It was a real choke. It was tight, though. That choke was tight. I remember trying to block it, and then he let go of it. Yeah, because and you, then the you ref, tap, the ref the, but you tap, the, ref, the referee have to say something. Yeah, I tapped, and, yeah. Then, and then the referee, the ref referee. didn't see it. No. So the ref know. is telling Hoyes, yes. keep fighting, and I'm looking up going, no. That's the okay, point. and then Hoyes yeah. stands up and goes, no, 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 no. Yeah, you yeah. tapped. <laughs> you tapped. Yeah. And, and I looked like, at him you know, and I said, you're right. yeah, you're I right, tapped. I tapped. Yeah. <laughs> but at first I thought he said, no, so at first I thought he said, no, I didn't remember, he said, no, he didn't before he said, <laughs> but at first I thought you said no, but then they roughed it the wrong way. Yeah, no, no, no. He 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 said no, no, no. And I was sitting there going, man, I I just I I want to keep going. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I I know I mean I I you tapped. You honest. Yeah, you I tapped, man. You honest. That's reason a half half hour ago we said hey, you are sportsman. This is a sportsman. Yes. Yes. When he fight when I do this with me, I say no, come up, fight, and fight directly. Yeah. That's the difference between sportsmen and fighters. Walk in to the fights. When I walk in, when I face Art, I can see he was pump up, pumping. It's like I'm gonna come at you. And when I look at Ken, Ken was the same way. Like I'm here to beat you, and I just kept a straight face. When I look at Gerard, I kind of saw a mirror of myself because he kept that same yes. straight face, no emotion at all. Right. I don't show any emotion, but he didn't show any emotion at all. So I remember I just scanned it all the way up and down, look at his hand, his foot. I saw swollen, the foot was swollen pretty big. The hand was taped, was still swollen. And I just scanned it, but I, I look at his face and there was zero emotion either. Like, different than you guys were pumped up. He got something over there, he doesn't care. So that's <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. But again, I change it from you. I walk straight in with him. I kind of stay away for a bit to see if he's going to come after me. I was like, okay, I got to time myself right because if I make a mistake, I knew you punch hard. I heard stories about you punching hard and there was no gloves. And I was like, man, I saw your size chisel built like the Greek god over here. <laughs> Ken was like, sure, I was like, my God. When I grew up, I wanted to be just like you. Hey, it was a good trophy, right? <laughs> when I grew up, I wanted to be just like, he's like yeah, yeah, Greek yeah. god. Man. But then I was oh, like, well, okay, but he's pumped up. But him, he doesn't care. He's gonna hit with a broken hand. And, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna time myself. Cause if I make a mistake, He's gonna knock a teeth out of me too. <laughs> <laughs> I shot in, yes. Yeah. I got in a clinch. You, you tried to kind of hang on, I tried to stay in base. Yeah, and, and, the, and then we go to the floor. I'm not uh, uh, strange or something. And then we go to the floor, but the, because I do wrestling, I go to my stomach. And f lesson first in the BGG. Yep. Don't go to don't the stomach. Don't turn to your stomach. <laughs> he will beat you. 
When I took him down, I, he kind of took a bite of my ear. Why, 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 why? <laughs> Because I, 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 not, not, <laughs> no, I, I feel I, I have to tap. Oh, okay. I feel I have to tap, but I gave you a present. <laughs> <laughs> Hoist is, is just softening him up here. Now watch it, watch Hoist's left hand. He's going to take it, and he's pushing hard to break it. There's a bridge to break the wall. And here comes an arm bar. I would be surprised if an arm bar shows yes, up here real quick. That looks to me like it could be. Not, not Bill. He's going to his best. This is a major part of fighting. It's, People do not it's, understand it's that over. this is very it's strong. Over. That's, he's got to be a great the, joke. It's over. After you told me, years later, when you invited me to come to your school, yeah. you said that he told me, it's like, man, I came back. I prepared Remco Pardue to yes. fight you. Yeah. And after you beat Remco, we're like, We gotta learn this basic yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. gotta learn. There's a, there was a very good to open your eyes. You have to, you know everything: punching, kicking, grappling, uh, grappling yes. uh, defense, special defense for Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu guys. And that was a very hard, good lesson for me. <laughs> He won't even break his smile. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching the, the first Ultimate Fighting Championship. Going home in the taxi to the hotel, I remember my brother hitting three, three, because I just sat there. I wanted to be the champion, you know, so bad. I was embarrassed, you know, and I was prideful. And so when I got to the room, I just stayed there. And then we had the after party and, you know, They were telling us, get your tuxedos ready and your nice clothes. And I, I told my brothers, nah, we're not going. I don't want to go. I'm embarrassed. But the night of the, the, the party, if you guys remember, I came in a, just a T-shirt. <laughs> But that's because Horn and uh, Art, they came up to the room and, man, they begged me to come to the party. You know, they said, you're a big part of it. Please come to the party. Don't be shamed. And whatever they told me, I... It lessened my embarrassment, and and I thought, yeah, let's go drink. <laughs> <laughs> and so when I got to the party, man, the first guy that said Risky. something with me was him. And, you know, I was excited to see this guy there. You know, I knew of this guy there, and I was so happy to see him there. And when he told me, man, you're young, man, let this go. Yep. So, you know, and, then, and I seen all you guys at the party, and, you know, And of course, I seen this guy <laughs> wrapped up. <laughs> yeah. So after the experience that you guys had, back go back in time, would you guys done it again, or you, if you think about it, you say, "Nah, I wouldn't get involved." Oh no, I'd do it again in a heartbeat. I'd do it now. Dana White tagged me in, coach put me in. <laughs> come on, man. I mean, come on, seriously, right? So um, I'd do it again in a heartbeat, 100, no doubt. I know you would do it, too, right now, tonight. No problem. Would you, Ken, if you had to go back? Absolutely. In, in, in fact, <clears throat> because um, of that night, you know, um, that night I tapped out. I never tapped out after that again because of that night, right? That made me a better fighter because before yeah. that, I was winning. I was going through everything, like even over in Japan. I mean, I was beating everybody. So by having that experience made me a better fighter and made me want to work harder to try to beat you. I mean, yeah. that was my whole world, was, was you. Yeah, of course, you know that. <laughs> the, the whole world knows it. <laughs> Would you then again? Yeah, yeah. Without or with gloves? <laughs> yeah, without. Without yeah. the gloves. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Would you fight differently, though? Yeah, of course. This time, I think, uh, again, wasn't no Google, wasn't no Yahoo. So I couldn't, really, I couldn't really know who you were. You know what I'm saying? So going in there... Uh, Uh, but he's a nice guy, you know now. Yeah, yeah. But I would, I would have had no gloves on. Also, I think I would have pressured you more. Because again, uh, you know, I'm a boxer. So when we kick, when you're kicking at me, what am I supposed to do, right? So I think I would have had more training, but, but I would definitely don't, do don't, it again. Don't say Taylor? that like, like a negative. Would you do like it again? Boxer. You're a boxer. Yes. Not yeah. negative. He's <laughs> like, yep, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> you know, like, like how artists trying to say is, I wish I got to show more of what I have. Yes. You show enough because you was there. Oh, I like that. I like that. But yeah. I like that. Thanks like that. to you guys, 
You're famous. You guys made me famous. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you made me the fighter that I am today. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you. No well, like Ken, like Ken said, though, but Coach, you made us all better, too. Yeah. 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 You made us all better. So, made, uh, made, me, made me better because I knew that you were, you were what I wanted, and I wanted to get that fight. And so that made me work a lot harder. So coming here and getting humbled truly made me work harder and start learning other things because I had no idea what Gracie Jiu Jitsu was. What we've done, we created a sport because remember, after the and after party, you know what they said? There was never going to be another UFC 2. They had said that shit. They don't remember Gold's Gym had sponsored yeah, that yeah, event. Yeah, yes. They walked out yeah, and yeah, said, yeah, this yeah. was a barbaric event. We'll never yeah. be part of it again because they sponsored the first event. I, I love you guys so much, man. Like I said, um, I'm so honored to be here and also the fact that um, this UFC thing, man, I mean, talking about Grappling, talking about elbows, knees, and just the whole thing, man. The baby going there and do this for a living. I'm serious. Hats off to you guys, man. I really I admire you guys. I love what you said. Uh, there'll never be a UFC one. We we did something, man, that that just shocked the world, man. We did something that we don't even to this day. We, I don't even understand how much our presence in that ring affected the whole sports legacy. You know, I mean, we did it. You know, by the grace of God, man, we're still here. My best guys. We are best the pioneers guys. and the best of the world. Best of the best. <laughs> best of the best. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Taylor, good to see you guys. Boys, thank you, my man. Gerard, my yes. friend. Thank you. <laughs> you Come by. All right. <laughs>